Hello everyone, welcome back to Techie Pocket, and welcome to another build log for Ryzen 5. This time it's the 1500X. I still wonder why they didn't make any 1500. Well, I don't know, they made it, they called it the 1400, I still don't know why, but... This one is a $1,100 build, and you may have noticed that it's the same price as my 1600. And so I actually don't recommend getting the 1500X, because with basically the same setup you can get a 1600X for the same price as this 1500X. I mean a 1600 for the same price as this 1500X. And so I actually am not going to recommend this product, however, I'm just putting this list out there because Ryzen 5 is coming out and this build list has to be there. And you probably could get it a little cheaper, but I just don't recommend the 1500X because you can see that for the same stuff, you can basically get a faster computer, so... Anyways. I went with the H100i because overclocking needs, you should be able to overclock this thing good once again. The Gigabyte AX370K7 Gaming, because that's a good motherboard, it has an M.2 slot, I think. Yep, right there. It has three PCI Express slots, four PCIe ex Express slots that are, uh... Well, one of the two of them at least are 16, and this one's probably a by 8. But you also have these three PCI Express, like I said. Then we went with the Vengeance LPX, that's one of the most popular memory. This one's 330 hundred megahertz. It's a 2 by 8 gigabyte kit, and for $120, that's, I'd say, exceptional. This time I decided to go with the Samsung 850 EVO 250 because it's a little bit cheaper, but it is a little slower. So if you want that extra speed, go ahead and get the uh, 950 or 960 EVO. Oh, WD Blue, one terabyte of course, what else would you go with for extra storage? GTX 1063 gigabyte from Gigabyte, because it's a good price and it's a 1063 gigabyte, you can always upgrade your graphics card or change it from this parts list from the whole beginning. You don't have to worry about that. I also decided to go with the Elite this time, S340 Elite, because the price is not that different, and so that's really why. 500 watt bronze certified, non-modular, not at all, it's EVGA. For $40, I'd say it's still pretty good, and I also included Windows 10 Home 64-bit. In total, it came to be about the same price as my 1600 build, and I think it's because I went with a little more expensive parts. But you guys should be able to change that up a bit, and so if you like this build, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, however, and disagree with some things, give it a thumbs down, and please tell me in the comments below. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.